dear researchers this is bbak technologies you could see our contact details on screen and our email id is so this is regarding iot network simulator available free on github you please note down the github address which is given at the bottom of the screenshot and uh, you can download it and use it for free so there are no obligation and it is developed in python uh, with uh, intention for support research people who are working on iot networks so here i would like to give introduction about iot network simulator before going to that i would like to give some introduction about what is iot network see you see now you are able to see the diagram so there are three layers see cloud form and then edge you see this is the edge layer bottom lowest layer and top most layer is the cloud so this is the present iot infrastructure actually earlier days when first time cloud has introduced it used to directly connect with the devices see for example any scanner in health care in health care uh some uh, some cctv some scanner will scans the uh, uh, there are some eeg scanner e, uh, uh, you can you have so many sensors so sensor will sense the data and upload it to the cloud and cloud is compute the things and response it back telling that whether disease is found or not like that so this communication um, is getting delayed uh, during emergencies no so that was the earlier infrastructure there was no fog layer in the between cloud and the uh, edge devices so this was the earlier way of iot but now and uh, iot infrastructure is changed as according to new demands and depend of the applications which requires so many parameters so now iot has got three layers so cloud it is the public network if you use this cloud you need to pay amount for that again that is a one burden on the user and second thing is when you upload the task and to come back via the network there is some kind of network utilization bandwidth and all so this is very important if network bandwidth is not good you will not get the response quickly and also oh, you are totally depending on the cloud and it is affecting your security also your data see for example when uh, uh, person health data is scanned uh, by scan scanners main sensors they may be it's a temperature sensor maybe heartbeat or maybe anything any data it is scanned or uploaded to the cloud and uh, cl anybody can it's a third party owned by third party anything can happen so security so so many other reason private network was introduced in between cloud and the edge so that is fog layer so there are member of resources so this is the way of uh, so now simulator should have opportunity to come with the sensors and connected to one edge mobile device maybe these edge devices or locomotive also they are moving from one place to another move or maybe fixed depending on so mobile or fixed as it like uh, our android mobile phone can be serve as an edge device a, a, a camera is there in mobile device a photo is scanned and uploaded like that so uploaded data will come to the fog resource and fog resource analyzes and identifies the persons and returns back with this is manjunath you can authenticate him or not and his login details can be stored like that and it's a private network owned by the government or maybe private company like that it's their data is very secure and they won't use cloud as much they are going to use cloud to for some different uh, um, task within the same system that's also there so it's all like dependence so this type of network is or called iot networks to simulate these networks you need a different thing and for example now this there is an application which is deployed on this network like healthcare application which is deployed remote health monitoring system means person is somewhere is in house so ask why doctor should go to the person to treat him he is in somewhere so sensors will 
get this temperature, his heart beats, whatever the details through sensors, he will collect and upload it and the hospital will see it and they will reply back with the solution what he has to take care of, like that. So during this kind of demand, what is the demand? Latency, response time. When data is uploaded, response time is important. No? So like that, there are some parameters. I will show you what are see these are. Response time is very important. And also power usage. See, here maybe patient is in village where remote place, maybe there he may not have connectivity of power and he may be running on battery and he must use the batteries correctly, you know. So, um, means saving the power may be important in edge device. Maybe in some special cases you want to save the power usage in fog resources. I like that. You don't know where you want to, but still you want to monitor what is the power consumed at edge devices. What is the power consumed at fog devices? You want to cloud this, whether you want to increase it or decrease it. It is all depending on your application requirement. Similarly, you can say, so you are deployed fog resources, multiple fog resources. This is one cluster, this is another cluster. One fog resource for this cluster, this. So multiple clusters have multiple fog resources. You want to use them efficiently. Maybe load is less in one cluster, maybe load is another, more in another cluster. You want to resource management, you want it to do. So there needs an, you need an opportunity to manage the resource management in the simulator. You should be able to configure number of edge devices number of clusters and number of fog resources and the cloud and what is and also as i told you you should be able to monitor this parameter what is the response time what is the power usage uh, whether we are using response uh, resources in fog efficiently because it's a private network cloud is public we need to pay if we use that but fog resources are deployed by us only in the third mid, uh, third layer uh, sorry in the middle layer so that middle layer we want to use efficiently so that we want to reduce the dependency on the cloud. So to these, all the parameters, these parameters only decides the quality of service. Quality of the service is divided by, uh, is defined by response time, power use, resource utilization, how much network we are using. If we are using less network and achieving more, that is called quality of service. So uh, like this. So quality of service is dependent on so many parameters. So you need to manage these parameters, measure these parameters. So in this IoT in, in first when you simulator, so there are resources, you understand? There, these are the resources, fog resources, cloud resources, and edge resources. They have different computation capability. They have different storage. They have different, so many things. So those things you want to manage efficiently so that ultimately we should be able to get these parameters, good quality of service, good results for these five parameters, response time, power usage, network, so this. For that we need a strategy. We need a strategy, means resource management strategy. So right now the simulator comes with built-in cloud-only strategy and brute force algorithm. So what cloud-only strategy tells? All the tasks are directly uploaded to the cloud and result is coming back. From this method, what these parameters are, you are able to monitor. In brute force algorithm, fog resources are introduced, tasks are coming to fog resources, fog resources will execute. If there is any uh, special cases, they can use the cloud resource. Special case means resource shortage, overloaded, so on. So like this. And also within the fog, you have to manage the uh, multiple resources efficiently. You know, one fog resource may be overloaded, one may be less loaded. So you manage them efficiently instead of using cloud. That uh, so that thing is called a strategy. Brute force message. Yeah. So you can uh, fine tune this. You can customize this simulator uh, according to your own uh, 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 strategy or a resource management task and compared with compare with cloud only and brute force algorithm. You can implement your own resource management strategy into this simulator and then you compare that with brute force algorithm or a cloud only base that is supported. So this is see this is what I am trying to say here. Easily anyone could modify the strategy based on genetic algorithm or uh, swarm optimization algorithms or like this and this code is totally developed in python and available on github you see you see and the, you can see the results see this is the result uh, how 
what is the output on the simulator simulate it so before simulating this you need to con uh, give inputs no? so how many clusters are there it's very important and i will, so you should specify that as an input like this one cluster second cluster so like this should specify the number of clusters and fog nodes capabilities if you are having five cap fog nodes 10 fog nodes 20 fog nodes you should give the capability of the fog node means its processing speed and its uh, uh, space uh, whatever like this yeah, and also edge node edge means the sens uh, sensors sensors will also have some capac those thing capacity fog nodes capacity edge node capacity and then task what type of tasks are generated at the edge edge means uh, sensors so uh, task means it is a, uh, it should have set of instruction set of data and priority these are all the parameters task parameter edge parameters and fog parameters as well as cloud parameter you need to set and then run you will get the result as shown on the screen like the total simulation is 1000 milliseconds out of that you will come with 40 slot and jobs uploaded is 1794 uh, average time taken is 25 milliseconds and uh, cluster 1 fog resources what is the power used see total power used uh, what is the how many hours uh, milliseconds it is busy and how many at, uh, hours it is uh, idle and busy and uh, utilization cpu utilization of the fog resource 1 cpu utilization of the fog resource 2 cpu utilization fog resource 3 and then so uh, during some emergency some tasks are uploaded in cloud so how and all you will see it in this log files log files will say when which fog resources were loaded and how in how it is see, without see when see see this resource utilization is 76 this is 59 so something wrong no? the all resources should be utilized properly so that we should reduce the cloud so you should come with a good strategy where these three resources are utilized well so that we can reduce the dependency as the cloud and then we should increase the, uh, uh, the sorry we should reduce the uh, response time see instead of 25 you may achieve it to uh, 12 or 25 no uh, less than if it as much as less response time that much customer is satisfied and happy so this is the way i will show you the code see this is the code you can see this is the code so you see config is there in this only simulation time and amount uh, cloud cpu speed and form for each fog resources capacity and then speed and latency and all the things you are configuring in the config file after that we are simulating so so we are simulate this is the uh, simulator code i was simulator so when you run this code you will see the data you will see the like the see this is like uh, we are run this for you see you, you are run this see oh, so here i has a number of cluster 4 and each cluster is having 20 hd devices means uh, like this um, so this is so this is the uh, one cluster this is having 20 edge devices each cluster so diagram shows only two clusters but we uh, it is left to you how many clusters you want so in this we have set four clusters each cluster is having 20 edge devices and we are simulated and uh, you will see the result like see see so this is the uh, each uh, 20 so start see for so time taken is 27 this man. minimum time is this maximum time taken by the task and average time taken by the Yeah. and uh, there are four clusters no zero c cluster zero is used 80% cluster one is used 70% this cluster two is used 56% see this very less utilized and this is used 80% see some clusters are utilized well and some clusters are utilized less uh, but uh, we are uploaded some task to the cloud so this is all which go this is all decided by the this is all decided by the strategy so this is all decided by so brute force algorithm uh, strategy we applied so it is so you can change the strategy with ps4 genetic or something so that you should achieve better uh, uh, resource utilization 
and to reduce the response time you can do this this is the simulator and it is freely available uh, you could note down our uh, contact details on the screen and you can, if you have any doubts in running this uh, uh, thing you can uh, contact us or you we will help you out uh, to implement your own strategies for resource management uh, you can contact us uh, and this is mainly for research students who wanted to research on um, this uh, uh, resource management across iot networks in fog uh, cloud fog or edge computing uh, thank you very much for hearing this uh, for your th i'm looking forward for your uh, uh, feedback uh, to uh, improve uh, this simulator further but thank you very much